I got a bonus topic I want to bring up, and I and uh, it pisses me off. I'm gonna it's, it's, I'm gonna call this Grant's axe grind because I'm I just remembered it and I wanted to point it out and it pissed me off. So yesterday was Trey Lance QB one, right? Mm-hmm. And I was thinking in my back of my mind, oh, this is cool. Like it's gonna be my first chance to see Lance and Trey uh, Christian McCaffrey play together. Sweet, it's gonna be dope. And what happened? McCaffrey had the day McCaffrey off. McCaffrey had to sit out. Yeah. So today, McCaffrey's back. And you know how many reps Trey Lance got with him? How many? Guess. Zero. Zero. That fucking pisses me off. Yeah. It fucking pisses me off. I know why. Yeah. Same shit that happened last year when Lance started week one and all of a sudden Kittle wasn't out there. What the fuck? Yeah. 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 It's a... but but That shit pisses me off. That that would matter on a team where the offense is at the service of the quarterback, right? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we're running what you like, you know. I mean, I hate to even do this, but he who should who he who shall not be named, Jimmy. Jimmy even put out comments talking about how he's been ingratiated with the Raiders. And the first thing that he talked about was, hey man. It's really nice to be able to sit down with Coach McDaniels and for us to be able to exchange ideas. I can share everything that I know about offense and what I've learned thus far, and he can share with me what he doesn't know and what he's learned thus far. And it's really refreshing to be able to sit down and have a collaborative effort around the offensive process. That's a shot. That's a shot. He knows who's listening. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this is all about. This is what we're going to keep circling. We're going to keep circling the fact that this is all about who Kyle feels as though can run his offense best. But it ain't about what we can do for you, though. It's just like they're going to run Trey Lance off this team before we can see what before we ever get to see what he could do with like with the, the full complement of weapons in the actual mm-hmm. offense. They're going to run him out of town before they ever see that. And it could, potentially could be the dumbest thing ever and it's like if once they get rid of him it's gonna go down as the worst trade ever or one of them but yeah. if it turns out to be good then it even gets worse like it was the you got nothing for him and then he went on to be good like you're even dumber than we thought so oh, that's my axe to grind i got i got something for you grant all jimmy has to do is make it through the entire season healthy and have a winning season and that's an indictment bad. it would be a huge indictment Dabuda says you seriously think kyle has no idea how to coach no i definitely has an idea yeah, He's gotten close. Yeah, here's an idea. Um, I buy houses cash. Says, where is Kyle during practice drills? Is he watching the quarterbacks and actually evaluating them? What is his focus on during team drills? I don't think he can be trusted to start hit the best quarterback. Uh, during practice drills, uh, when the quarterbacks were warming up, I had him in my frame. Him, in, he had his back to the quarterbacks the whole time, and they were watching special teams. You can watch it. You go on my YouTube channel. Go to the the video. It's 15 minutes. Brock Purdy shows off his arm strength on day two of training camp. I have. Kyle and John in the frame the whole time. 75% of the time they have the back, they're they're back to the action. I don't get it. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Special teams? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it's All weird. Right. Two gray beard hair says running backs be at Subway trying to order a foot long, and the owner got go, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Random as hell. 